So I've been failing miserably on my uh, schedule of Monday, Wednesday, Friday, with occasional weekend videos. So I'm going to try and do at least one video a week. A minimum of one video a week. And I might make it uh, Sundays, but we'll see. Um, there's going to be a minimum of one minimum of one video a week. How about that? Uh, I'd like to do three to seven, but I need stuff to actually record. Um, I'm hoping that I can get a couple buddies of mine to actually, uh, you know, duel on here and maybe do some master duel, um, or some Omega or, you know, something. Um, but, you know, that's, that's something that I want to do. Um, I would like to actually have a camera so I can do deck profiles and combo tutorials with a real camera and my real deck. But I don't have one, so it's whatever. It's fine. I don't care. Um, so, a couple cards that you might consider playing in this deck. Um, and the consideration would be, you know, over Pot of Extravagance. Pot of Extravagance, in my opinion, is useful if you are going to have a second turn after you have already used all of your materials. After you have, uh, used up, you know, used Anima, uh, and Sunlight Wolf, and stuff like that, after you've done that, then you can use Pot of Extravagance. You don't have to worry about banishing them or anything like that. It's fine. Uh, this deck works without the extra deck as a whole. Um, it does work without the extra deck. It's not as good without the extra deck, without Anima and Wolf. Um, but it's fine. Like it, It can work just fine. So, I'll show you uh, the combos and stuff. If you use Pot of Extravagance and you banish the Sunlight Wolf and Anima, and ones where you don't. Uh, cards to consider over Pot of Extravagance. Um, Volcanic Counter. Good thing of the name for a second there. Volcanic Counter's effect is if it's in the graveyard, you can banish it. When you take battle damage, if there's another fire monster besides Volcanic Counter. Oh, here, I'll just do this. Volcanic Counter. There you are. So, when you take battle damage while this card is in your graveyard, banish it from your graveyard. Then, if there is another fire monster other than Volcanic Counter in your graveyard... Inflict damage to your opponent equal to the amount that you just took. So, it's kind of like, um, it's kind of like the combo of, uh, Lyrilis, Nightingale, and Starling. Or Starling, actually, where your opponent takes just, a mu just as much damage as you do. When they attack into it. Which works fine. It works really good actually. Um, when people don't read. Because you know you're playing Master Duel. And people don't read. Um, Volcanic Counter is one card. That I would seriously consider. Playing in this deck. Over Pot of Extravagance. Um, Doomfire is another one. That I would consider playing. Or at least citing. One copy of. Uh, the problem with Doomfire is in order to play Doomfire, you need Triblaze Accelerator. Luckily, you have a Triblaze in the trap card. This card's name becomes Triblaze Accelerator while on the field. So, yeah. Um, but, yeah, I just thought I'd uh, talk about that for a few, uh, couple minutes. And 
let's uh let's stop with the yakin and get to the combo shall we all right first hand random hand this is not a bad hand at all to be honest with you um it's honestly really not uh so starting off normal summon this is going to assume that your opponent does not stop you by the way doesn't have any kind of any kind of way to stop you that is what this is going to consider normal summon volcanic trooper trooper effect on summon to add a card you're going to add volcanic blaze accelerator very good stuff uh activate volcanic blaze by sending a copy of the original blade accelerator from your deck face up on the field or your hand to the graveyard that is not an option it is a requirement if you run out of blades accelerators you cannot play this card at least not from your hand now effect of trooper discard one to give them a bomb token effect on hitting graveyard of volcanic rimfire banish itself to foolish burial in this case we're going to foolish burial that now effect of shell in the graveyard to add a shell you take 500 points of damage uh Let's see. Effect of Volcanic Blaze Accelerator. Special Summon. And then we're going to link into Volcanic, or not Volcanic, but into Relinquished Anima. Now, here's the only reason that you play Anima at all. It is a Link 1. It requires a Level 1 monster, except for a token. Um... The only reason that you need it is for what we're about to do here. Declare the effect from your deck. Yes, from the deck. Special summon Awakening of the Possessed Greater Inari Fire. I think I'm pronouncing that right. By tributing one spellcaster monster and one level four or lower fire monster. Cool. Now, on summon, you can burn your opponent for uh, the original attack of one monster they control, in this case it's a bomb token, which bomb tokens are 1,000 attack and 1,000 defense, so they take 1,000 points of damage. So they're at 7,000 life points. Uh, effect of Volcanic Shell in the Graveyard. To add another copy of Volcanic Shell. Where are you? Come on. There you, there you are. Right there. Okay. Now, effect of Channeler to pitch and pitch and add a card with higher attack points than the discarded card. I discarded Rocket. The only card in this entire deck that has more attack points than Rocket, besides uh, Inari, Fire, or Greater Fire, is Emperor. Add it to your hand. So. Um, now we can do one of two things. We can either summon Emperor and get the trap and move on, or we can do it the fun way, which is send from our deck to our graveyard a copy of Rimfire again to blow up their token. They take 500 points of damage because the token is destroyed. Then the effect of Rimfire triggers to banish a blaze accelerator card on the field 
to then set one. Actually, let me double check that. Uh, banish one Blaze Accelerator card from your face-up field or graveyard, and if you do, place one Blaze Accelerator Continuous Spell or Trap from your hand or deck face-up to your field. This will ignore the conditions to Volcanic Blaze Accelerator. So, banish one from the deck and play this one, or banish this one from the field and play this one. Now we can use the effect to Special Summon one more time. Special Summon, and then Link 2. 1, 2. And 2. That one. So, in total, they have taken... Uh, 1,500 points of damage. As of now. Inari Fire on Summon Burn for a thousand, and then sending a card from Deck to Grave to pop a card was for um, 500. So they've taken 1500. Now we trigger the effect of Volcanic Emperor by banishing three Pyro Monsters from our graveyard. So we're going to go one, and two. And three. Special summon. Under Wolf. Chain link one, Emperor. Chain link two, Wolf. Wolf will add back a Pyro Monster or Fire Monster back from our uh, graveyard. Which I will add back. Trooper. Then chain one, Emperor will go off. And you set a copy, or actually, I forgot, um, when Inari hits the graveyard, she adds uh, that to your hand. Anyway, um, you then set from your deck a copy of this one. So, uh, they have taken... Let's see, 2,000... They're taking 3,500 total. So they are at 4,500. Right? Yeah, 4,500. Okay. So. You end your turn. Draw phase. Activate your trap. Target this one for 1,550. That puts them to... Actually, let's just use this. So, they took a thousand points of damage for uh, Inari Summon. 500 for the token being destroyed. 2,000 for Emperor. Then they're going to take 1,550 from this. So, 1,550. Okay. They go into standby phase. You go trigger trap. Tribute 3100. And there you go. It works. So. That was with a random hand. And it was without using Pot of Extravagance. Granted, that hand was actually pretty damn good. So let's do another random hand real quick. Hmm. Not bad, not bad at all. So this time, I'm going to use this. And we're going to go ahead and pretend that you banish... Six and the one, two, three, uh, four, five, and six. Okay, then you draw two cards one and two. All right, not that bad. So, effect of Chandler in the graveyard. 
to pitch one and pitch the other to add a copy of Trooper. And we're assuming that your opponent does not have Ash Blossom because they didn't stop you. Trommel Summon. Effect to add. Adding. Volcanic Blaze Exciter. I really wish they had made this Volcanic Fire Ejection or Volcanic Ejection or something. Um, so it was searchable, but then it would be really frickin' broken. So I understand why. Uh, anyway, activate Volcanic Blaze Accelerator by sending a copy from hand, field, or deck to your graveyard. And we're gonna do that. Now, second effect of, uh, this. We're going to pitch this to give them a token. Oh yeah, I forgot. 8,000 line points. Uh, give them a token, and then burn them for 500 points. So, 500. So they're at 75. Now, um, I'm going to use the effect of Volcanic Shell in my graveyard and add a copy of Shell. So I am also at 7,500 life points. I'm going to use the effect of Blade Accelerator. Be special. I am going to. Uh, let's see. What can I do here? Then I am going to. Uh, link. Nope. Hmm. All right, what am I thinking? Uh, effect of this to, um, or no, yeah. Okay, so I, I know what I need, what's supposed to be doing. So link to into IP Mascarena. You do not need and cannot go into your, um, uh, Inari fire. So, it's fine. So, with what you banished, you have a couple choices. Um, it's not great, but it'll be fine. Uh, you can go Volcanic Shell Effect to add Shell. You're at, six, you're at six, uh, 7,000. My bad. Um, then, Volcanic, uh, Emperor, summon by Vanishing 3, 1, 2, and 3. Then, um, you burn your opponent for 1,500 points. Okay, and then you set from your deck a copy of um I'm gonna do Inferno this time. Set. Uh then we will Go ahead and use the effect of Volcanic Blaze Accelerator to send a copy of Rimfire. Rimfire will then trigger the effect and banish a copy of Blaze Accelerator. So banish. You can also pop that, so 500 points. Effect to special summon. We're going to special summon in deep depths. Um, let's see. And, yep, we can do that. So, 
next turn, we have a way of inflicting damage to them. And we have a way of going into a bigger monster that can't be destroyed by card effect. Which is what we want. So... End your turn. They draw. They do big stuff. They go to attack. You go effect a... Uh, IP Masquerina. Actually, no. First, you would go... Um, let's see. Move. First, you would go this during their draw phase, targeting... Actually, no. Never mind. Um, you activate this, then go ahead and link off these three. And you have a... Um, three material Appaloosa. And, yeah. So, this can chain, this can block once per chain, which is uh, fine. Once per chain, if it's a monster effect, anyway. Um, this can block a monster effect uh, on the field. This can block monster effects from the hand, like Ash Blossom and stuff like that. Which is fine. But they're at 5,500. They summon a couple things. They do some more shenanigans. Um, like, the entire point of linking off everything was because they were going to destroy uh, your field with, let's just say, Lightning Storm. And IP can link into something that can't be destroyed by card effect. Um, right? Yeah, two non-link monsters for this. During your opponent's main phase, you can quick effect immediately after this effect resolves. Uh, link summon one link monster using material you control, including this card. Um, you can only use this effect once per turn, blah blah blah. A link monster use, that used this card as material can, cannot be destroyed by an opponent's card effect. So, that's why you link in the hurt. Uh, then, you know, they're gonna, um, they use Lightning Storm, it does nothing, it, do it doesn't destroy Appaloosa, so you're fine, um, and then, uh, you know, they play something, and you can banish something, so let's just say that they decided to play something that's gonna, um, they do something that's gonna be a monster effect. Banish one from the graveyard. Trigger this effect to burn them for 500 points of damage. And then, uh, inflict 500 points of damage. So, unfortunately, you can only use each effect once per turn, but that's not, real, that's not a real big deal. Um, so, it gets blocked and stopped, so... They kind of get stopped in their tracks. They go to activate something else from their hand. And then you uh, uh, do this and she loses a counter. And it negates and destroys. Or negates the activation. So you're good. Um, then let's just say this gets destroyed for whatever reason. So... Next turn, you would draw, and then, it's actually not a bad draw, and then you would trigger the effect of this by banishing one Blaze Accelerator from your graveyard, and you would uh, burn your opponent for 2,000 points. So, 2,000. And then, on summon, you also get the, uh, that, emission. 
Emission is actually kind of busted. You can only use each effect once per turn, but each effect is actually really, really good. Oh, random yawn in the middle of the video. You gotta love it. Um. Yeah, then you just, you know. Attacks. That's more like it. Uh, swing over their stuff, and then... Yeah. Then you're pretty much done. Um... This doesn't really play well as far as a grind game, to be honest with you. And see, that is why I don't like using uh, Pot of Extravagance, because if you banish these two, you kind of lose your setup. And the argument can be made, yes, just play three of them and be done with it. You know, your extra deck can literally just look like, you know, three anima, three wolf, three uh, hita, three of her, three wolf, three anima, and you're, you know, you're fine. I don't really like doing that, but to each their own. Um, so, you can win with this in multiple different ways, but uh, let's, um, yeah, that's kind of all I got for you, to be honest with you. I mean, random hands, for example, other random hands. This is actually a decent hand. Not a bad one. Um, you got your starter right here. You got something to discard right here. You got your volcanic blaze accelerator right here. So you can add. You can actually add uh, discard fodder for her. Um, you can uh, do quite a bit with this. Um, there's a lot that you can actually do here. Um, it's actually quite good. Uh, it's not the best hand in the world, but it's usable. So, yeah. Uh, and test hand number four. Not that great, not that bad. This is actually usable. If you have this in your hand, you're pretty good. If you have something to, to discard, which you do. Um, great thing about Emperor is you can summon him from your hand or your, uh, graveyard. And he's easy to summon, so that's pretty good. That's not a bad hand. Not the greatest in the world, not the worst, but, you know, it's kind of meh, whatever. Um, this is another hand where you would kind of be forced to use, uh, Pot of Extravagance. Um, risking banishing your full combo, but it's still usable, you know. Got fire ejection, so you can, um, actually do, uh, some of your combo. Um, actually, I'll just, I'll just show you what I mean. So, activate, uh, send from deck to grave, emperor, give them a bomb token. Normal summon, activate, um, graveyard, uh, link, this is without using pot by the way, effect on hitting graveyard, banish itself, to then foolish burial a copy of shell, Activate shell in the graveyard, take 500 points of damage to add that. I said add to hand, not to grave. Effect of this to special summon. And now you declare the effect. What I wanted you to do. You declare the effect from the deck. To banish 
or to summon greater and greater fire tribute and tribute um then you activate book act shell again adding your last copy triggering then trigger the effect of this one to send uh, a rimfire to grave to banish a blaze accelerator from your field to play another blaze accelerator. Then you special link into that one. They take 500 points of damage. Actually, they took more than that. Uh, let's see. Do I have? Yes, I have an emperor. Um, special summon by banishing three. So one, two, and three. You burn them for two thousand. You get a fire monster back. So shell. You also get the. Binary fires effects like I forgot all of these effects. I'm sorry. Um so yeah, do you uh you do all this and then you know you're set. They didn't take that much damage, to be honest with you. They've only taken uh actually they've taken thirty five hundred points of damage. Um again. So, uh, their turn, activate 1550, they've taken 4550, which puts them at 3450, I think. Uh, they summon once, they lose 500 points, and that puts them below 3000. You do this, and then you win. So. Yeah, I kind of went through that a little quick, and actually forgot to grab stuff. Um, be sure that you actually grab your stuff. When when things happen. Um, as soon as this card is sent to the graveyard, you can add that. As soon as this is summoned, you can add, you can set this, you know. Um, it has to happen as soon as it hits the graveyard, not after, so. Uh, I mean, it all works. Um, like, I I forget combo stuff. I forget things. But, uh, it works pretty well. In Master Duel and Omega, uh, the problem with playing those two is, uh, Omega is a simulator, kind of like Dueling Book. But, the problem is, it does it automatically. So, you never have to remember... Oh, I need to add this as soon as this hits the graveyard. Or, oh, this hit the graveyard. I need to activate this effect when it hits the graveyard. So, it's kind of, you know, screwy. But, yeah, that's uh, all I got. Um, I don't want the video to be too long, and this hand up is absolute garbage. But, uh, yeah. So, anyway, that's what I got. Um, hope you enjoyed, uh, leave a like, comment, and a subscribe if you would. Tell me what you think about the deck, tell me what you think about, uh, you know, my test hands and stuff like that. Uh, what you would play over certain cards, uh, what combos I can do better, and so on and so forth. And, yes, I realized that I screwed up a couple of them, and I'm not the greatest at this. Because, um, I have played this deck a few times, but for the most part, I haven't played this deck enough to learn the combos. Uh, Dragon Link, for example, I know the combo line of that without even really having to think about it. Um, just depends on what cards I draw. You know, I know... I know what hand will get me to full combo. Like this hand right here. Uh, someone that's played this deck a lot more than me. Maybe like, hmm, yeah, you got full combo there. You know, 
do this and that and this and so on and so forth where this to me looks like complete hot garbage but then you know this hand is a decent hand this hand i could go full combo with um or at least most combo and then again a hand that is pretty decent full combo pretty much um because i have something to, to discard i have something to discard for her in shell shell's effect will get me another copy of it and then i have something to discard for uh putting a bomb token on the field and then i have something to activate to get something in the graveyard to burn my opponent and so on and so forth you know just again I have stuff I can play this hand. Like, it's not that bad. Um, but this is not great. I mean, it's not bad. It's not great. It's usable, but it's not full playable um, to me. Uh, it is, but it's not, actually. Because you need to get in, you need to get Emperor in the graveyard or in your hand to summon him. Uh, getting him in the graveyard is not as easy with this type of hand. Still doable, but not as easy. So yeah. Uh, anyway, I'm I'm making the video take a lot longer than it should. Like, comment, subscribe. Um, hit the little bell thingy. Make sure you're actually subscribed and notified. Uh, tell me what you think about the deck, and yeah, so, that's it. I will catch you on the next one. I'll try to make this, uh, I'll try to make more videos per week, and try out, try to stay on a consistent schedule.